Hey guys, but it's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at decal actors and opacity masks inside of Unreal Engine 4. So uh, let's just go ahead and give you a quick overview of what they are. So essentially, a decal is a projected texture from an actor that you can put inside of your level in 3D space. So if you take a quick uh, look at my scene, I've actually got a couple of decal actors here. One for an opacity mask and one without and I'll tell you what opacity masks do in a bit but essentially our little decal actor is our projected texture you can see the first one here is a little blood texture that I've got and that's just thrown onto my floor and if I wanted to I could move that around left right up down whatever I wanted to I could even rotate this to uh, put it on walls if I wanted to so let me just go ahead and show you that it's gonna rotate it 90 degrees this way 90 degrees this way and then I'm going to bring it up to my wall and you can see I can sort of just like splatter it on, place it wherever I want to and this really allows you to add that little bit of extra detail in there, put a bit of clutter, whatever you want to do really um, and decals are brilliant for anything ranging from you know uh, blood, bullet holes, sick, um, water, whatever you're doing really. Anyway, um, but yeah that, that's pretty much um, decals in a nutshell, just a projected texture inside of your scene. Now you've got one here um, which is blood and one here which is essentially the Virtus Education logo. Now the Virtus Education logo is probably the simplest one here. The reason for that being that it doesn't have uh, an opacity mask in there. So you can see that with the blood I've actually got rid of all the bl uh, black bits that you see in the texture. Whereas in the Virtus Education logo because I haven't used an opacity mask you still got all the black edges. Um, that you can actually see in the uh, texture here. So today I'm also going to be showing you how to use um, opacity masks to actually get rid of all that black stuff that you really don't want because you don't want to see any of that because you know blood or bullet holes they don't have the big black box around it. So without further ado let's uh, go ahead and uh, jump into Photoshop and take a look at these textures that I've made. Don't forget these textures are available for download in the description if you want to go and check them out. Um, it comes complete with normal map, alpha map, diffuse and uh, pretty much anything else that you're going to need. So as of right now here it is. Um, this is my basic blood texture. I basically just stole it from Google, chucked it in here and, uh, and then afterwards, I created the opacity mask. All I did was just duplicate the layer, make it all white, because that's pretty much how opacity works. The black bits are going to be completely thrown out, whereas the lighter parts are actually going to be shown. Um, and then if I wanted to, I can just export the alpha or the, uh, the diffuse. And I also use uh, created a normal map as well, uh, which is possible. Um, you can use pretty much all of the uh, the other texture maps for um, decals if you wanted to. So you could even use emissive, normal, specular, roughness, whatever you want to. Um, they're still materials nonetheless. So let's just go ahead and uh, go to my decal section over here. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. So you can see me import everything from scratch. And uh, I'm going to show you how to create the decal material and place the actor into the scene. So if you have all of your files ready, um, as of right now, I've got my normal map and then I've got the diffuse and the alpha. Those are the ones I want. So I'm going to go ahead and import those. I'm just going to simply select them all, find wherever they are on your computer, select them and simply click and drag them in just like that. And I'm not going to worry about diff um, like specular or, or any of the other maps, just the main important ones, opacity, diffuse and normal for now. And you can also see, because I'm importing a normal map as shown in the last episode, um, it, it is, um, it's actually got that down as a normal map and it's going to use it accordingly. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and create our new material for decals. So go to, just right click in your content browser, go to material, and I'm going to name this blood underscore decal and I'm going to open that up and before we can actually use this as a decal there's a few things we need to change um, first things first select the blood decal and then go to uh, material uh, sorry and then go to material domain go to deferred decal that way it knows it's a decal and that's pretty much it really now let's go ahead and bring our, in our diffuse so if I click and drag and bring it in just like that hook up the base color, 
just like any other normal material, and you can see we've got our blood in here now. But we've still got this little black bit, so now we actually need to use this alpha map, uh, alpha, this opacity map. Just bring that in and uh, hook that straight up to the opacity. Now, some of you may know how to actually have, an, uh, how to actually put something into an alpha channel inside of Photoshop, uh, and then obviously you can use the alpha channel uh, from here and hook it straight up into opacity. But for now, because it's simple, I wanna show you how to use this separate opacity mask. All you gotta do is just pull the RGB straight into opacity and boom, it should be done. So if I go ahead and press apply now and save that, and we can close this material out now because that's pretty much all we need to do. You can play around with things uh, later on if you wanted to. Like you could play around with your roughness, you could put in your normal map, uh, do whatever you want to. Um, decals with normal maps look absolutely amazing. Just, just putting it out there. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and close that up now. And let's bring in a decal actor. So if you go over to your modes, go to place, all actors, and then just type in decal and you'll find your deferred decal. Just click and drag and bring that into your scene. Now, by default, it should have this dirty uh, green look to it at the moment. There is no material there as of yet. So you need to find your decal material. I, I named it blood underscore decal. And then where it says decal material over here in the properties, just go ahead and uh, press use selected asset from content browser. Or you can just go ahead and uh, select it from here. But now you can see we've got our lovely little uh, decal material here and I can move this wherever I want to in the scene. So if I just drag and chuck that on the floor, uh, we've got our, our, mater our decal. And that's pretty much it for decals. It's very simple. Uh, play around with it, do whatever you want, make bullet holes, blood, sick, puke, whatever you want to do. Uh, steal, stuff, steal some stuff from Google like I did. Do whatever you want. Don't forget the download link is in the description for all the files that I just generated for you. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.